Welcome back guys. We have our video assistant, Mr. Colt, out here again today, helping us with the video. He's hungry. He's begging me for food. He hasn't eaten dinner yet. So, um, what we're doing today though is talking about a new product that actually uh, some of you guys may have seen on Instagram and Facebook, but it's actually a product that I have been intimately involved with for probably uh, the last year and a half getting it brought to market. It is that ACOG that you guys can actually see behind me. So it's mounted up here on the Psyonix Patrol Rifle 3, which is an excellent rifle. It probably will be my test rifle for this optic, as well as some AKs, and we'll get to that here in just a second. But basically, for those that don't know, the TA44 is a 1.5 powered ACOG, and uh, they make two different uh, 1.5 powered ACOGs. The TA44 is kind of analogous to the um, TA31, whereas it has a really wide field of view, but a little bit shorter eye relief than the 45, which is also a uh, 1.5 power ACOG. So this one though, the beauty of it, if you can actually see that there, I know everything's backwards here on Facebook Live, but it has the ACSS reticle in there. So um, the big problem I had with the original TA41 and the big sort of con of it, in my opinion, was the reticle could obscure targets at certain distances um, and then just kind of it was just a limited use when you got beyond like 150 yards well this little guy fixes that and that's again why I've been very uh, very involved in it with Trigicon as well as uh, Dimitri from Primary Arms developing this reticle uh, so this is actually the second prototype but this is the one that's going into production now when they actually hit I don't know yet so uh, we're all gonna have to stay tuned for that um, but it should be soon like this is the one that we decided we're going with and this one will be the production model um, now basically quick history for you guys is that I'll just try to show you guys the reticle there so you can see that the illuminated portion of it is uh, basically your little horseshoe then you have a chevron tip it's probably hard to see here on Facebook live um, and then you have a couple dot holdover dots and then underneath there this part here is actually a ranging reticle um, which gives you the ability to uh, range in the field with the optic itself to let you know your distance from the target uh, so it has a lot built into it that it aids in both quick acquisition obviously with the, the horseshoe uh, circle around it that gives you a quick acquisition up close which is definitely important for a 1.5 powered ACOG and then it lets you also range targets and know where they're at even though if you don't know the distance so unknown distance targets you can get an idea of where they're at and where your holdover should be now uh, the ACSS reticle this particular one is designed to work with a bunch of different calibers so obviously 545 556 308 but depending on your zero distance you can get it to work with 7.60 by 39 300 blackout etc so it's really kind of the beauty of this little guy right here now I realize these Typically, uh, 1.5 power ACOGs aren't quite as popular as the big boy ones, the uh, you know four power and the three and a half power. But this one here, I think, has a lot going for. It. I think it's going to be something that a lot of people are going to like eventually. Anyway, who knows? We'll see when we get them out there. But I'm definitely excited about it. It's one of the few products. Uh, it's definitely the first optic I've really been involved with from behind the scenes to see. Um, come to fruition and obviously to have it in an ACOG which I'm a huge fan of as you guys all know um, with the ACS reticle which I'm also a fan of is awesome so uh, basically from the first prototype to this prototype we changed some stuff with the illumination because there are limits to what you can illuminate and stuff like that with the etching of the prisms on ACOGs um, at first there was just a little bit too much stuff going on and it was a little distracting so this is the one that's going to be hitting the streets soon so proud to do it uh, just a couple questions I saw there I'm actually reading them across my screen somebody's asking if it's uh, compatible with the uh, RS regulate ACOG mount it absolutely is so that's kind of what I was getting at earlier with the um, ability to use with AKs as well so that's definitely cool and it will sit pretty low not as low as some of the real real low ACOGs but it'll sit pretty low on your uh, AK you guys will see it on an AK uh, when I do my review so I'm gonna be getting a bunch of footage with it over the next couple weeks to a month or something like that and then I'll drop that review as soon as this one starts actually being for sale to the public so uh, yeah that's pretty much the update video I'm, I'm definitely excited to see it come to fruition an optic that I had a lot of input it was basically the brainchild of me and uh, the execution of designing it was me and uh, Dimitri from primary arms so uh, and the folks at Triticon as well so definitely thanks them for actually listening to us and they certainly didn't have to so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching stay tuned you guys are going to see more photos and stuff like that uh, coming I'm sure in the coming weeks of this thing uh, ringing some steel